we said, well, what would it look like to actually think through who's on track to get left behind? And in that context, we said, well, a lot of these issues are life and death. The Sustainable Development Goals have commitments to get child mortality down to no more than 25 deaths per thousand live births in every country by 2030. They have a commitment to get non-communicable disease mortality down by one third in every country, wherever it started. They have a commitment to, commit, uh, to cut suicide, homicide, maternal mortality, and traffic deaths. Well, those big pledges, those admirable pledges that presumably each of us would all endorse, those come down to specific people's lives. And as we looked at the math, <laughs> in very basic terms. We said, well, you can actually look at how each country is doing, and if the world and each country keeps going as it's going, then you can see how many people will live or die. What's the difference if we fulfill this commitment or not? So this is, in my view, the starkest form of whether people get left behind or not. It's whether they even get the chance to live. And by our estimation, there are 44 million lives at stake. About 29 million who will die prematurely from non-communicable disease, about 9 million children who will die before their fifth birthday, and more than a million each from suicide, homicide, maternal mortality, and traffic deaths. That's the difference between what the world is doing right now and what it's promised to do by 2030. Those are specific people in specific places, facing very specific problems. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos from Brookings.